this is Yolanda from the Upcraft channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to make a crochet version of the knitted hat, the rib hat that I did in knit. This is knitted. And some of you asked me if I could do one in crochet because you don't knit. So although the crochet one is thicker, it's basically the same idea. When you open it here, see when you put it on, then you see the rib stitching there. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get the party started. Okay everyone, so this hat was really a request by some people that has uh, had seen the video I did for the knit rib, a basic knitted um, hat with the little ribs like this. And this was done by alternating rows of purring with uh, doing a purl stitch with the knit stitch. And so here for a um, so then I did purl one, knit one, whatever. For here, it, it was done two, two purls and then two knits, two purls alternating so that it makes the little ridges like this. So if you know how to knit or if you want to do this and knit it, there is a, a video for this. I'll put the link in the video description box if you want to do it knitting. Some people wanted to do it in crochet because they don't know how to knit, so I'll go ahead and do that. Usually, when I do my beanies, I uh, crochet, I always usually I start from the bottom, excuse me, from the top and work to the bottom. And the knitted one was work from the bottom, work to the top with decreases until I got to the middle part. So here, one of the things about doing these kind of beanies is that they kind of shrink. See how thin it looks? When you see it, it looks really small, right? But then when you put it on your head, then you see the full amount of stitches when it stretches and it gives you that wonderful... Um, look also when you do cables is the same thing that they kind of tend to uh, kind of uh, crunch together because it's the same kind of stitching we would use for ribbing so here to begin usually I have about either 48 stitches double crochets in the round or about 54 for this since it's going to be shrinking we're going to need to do a lot more to begin our work so that it when it shrinks it'll give us enough stitches okay so here I'm going to begin with, whoops, there's something black there, the magic circle or disappearing loop. Um, if you don't, if you're not comfortable with this, you can do eight single crochets, uh, excuse me, eight chains, and then slip stitch in the first one, and then begin your, um, to make your circle and begin your loops. Here, I'm going to have quite a bit stitches. In the first here, I'm going to make it kind of big, and remember, you can pull the chain, the loop close um, if you need to. So here, Go this way like this, put it to the back, then I grab it, and everybody does their circle uh, differently, so or starts it differently. So then you just have this little loop there. So now here to begin, you are going to chain three, one, two, and three. This one's going to count as a double crochet, and you're going to make 23 more. I know that's a lot. Usually we do a lot less than that. I'll have like 12 of them. So here you're going to yarn over. means wrap the yarn over your hook. You're going to go in there and pull out. And you're going to do pull through first two. Then the next two. That is a double crochet. And you can control the loop by closing it a little bit or giving it open. But don't close it all the way. You're going to need a lot of space for this. So here's one, two. And I'm going to do... 23 uh, of these for a total of 24 so here I have one two three and I'm going to continue until I have 24 and I'm going to have to just work with controlling that loop okay so go ahead and do your 24 double crochets into your loop the remember the first three chains counts as one so here's one two three four five six so I'm going to finish these and I'll come back when I have 24 double crochets. Okay, so I finished all 24. This counted as my first one, so I did my chain 3 and then I did 23 more. So now I have 24. That's quite a bit. And then now here, we're going to slip stitch into the third chain. Here's 1, 2, and 3. We're going to slip stitch into there. And then once I do that, I can go ahead and close the circle. It's going to look wavy like this. Don't worry about it. That is okay. This it's not go once we start doing our stitches around, you'll be okay. So it's not usually usually it's like uh flat flat. I don't know what I keep dropping. I was in the garden earlier. I don't know if I have dirt on my hands. So here I'm going to chain 3 to go up. 
one, two, and three. And now here I need to get all of my increases so that it could work like my other hat here. I don't want to make too big because I don't want it to go too much. I want the crown to have a lot of the ribbing there, the ribbing. So here I'm going to go one, two, three, and then into that same stitch, that same space right there. Can you see that in the third chain there? I'm going to work two more double crochets. So here's one and two. Okay, so that means that we want to have three double crochets in every stitch. I know that's a lot, but that's the number we're going to need in order to be able to make our hat so when the egg will stretch and be large enough for our head. So here in my next stitch right there, I'm going to do three double crochets. So you're going to do three double crochets in every stitch. Here's one, two, and it's going to look wavy. So don't worry that it looks wavy. That's okay. Once you start working your rounds, it'll your rows, it's going to be okay. So here, once again in the next stitch, I'm going to do three double crochets. One, two, and there's one, two, and three. So see how it's starting to get wavy? Don't worry, that's okay. I'm going to continue doing that. Three double crochets in every stitch. So go ahead and do three in each stitch and then we'll come back here and then we will start working our little cable looks. Our little cable full, full cables. Okay, so I've done all of my stitches and see it just looks all wavy like that. When I did this hat here, I had to cast on, with a size 10 needles, I had to cast on 70. But in order to make the math work for this one, we're going to have 72 stitches, okay? That way we can evenly divide everything and all the stitches, it works. So here, once you do this, um, your all your stitches, you're going to have 72, including this chain three. So here's good. one, two, three. I want you to slip stitch into there, okay? And I know it's kind of crazy because isn't that crazy how many we have there, but that's going to be okay. Now I want you to chain three, one, two, three, this one always counts, the chain three always counts as one double crochet. And this is going to be the back post. So we're going to start working our back post and then the front post. If you want to do three or two or four, that's up to you. I'm going to do just two like I did this one, just to keep it consistent. But you can do um, here, instead of just working one double crochet, one, uh, you can do sets of three or you can do sets of four. I'm going to be doing sets of two. So here I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to begin by doing a back post double crochet. And what that means, let me see if I could focus this here. When you yarn over, I'm going to come and grab my my stitch through behind here. So you could see that my hook is going there. So it's a back post double crochet. So there's three. I'm going to pull through the first two, then the next two. So those are going to be my first two sets. Like I said, if you want to do sets of four or sets of three or sets of two, that's up to you. I'm going to do mine with sets of two. So here are my first two for the back. Now, in my next two stitches, I'm going to work my double crochet through the front post. So I yarn over. I'm going to come through the front of my work. Grab that post there. Grab my yarn. I'll have three loops. I'm going to pull through the first two and then the next two. And I'm going to do that one more time because I'm doing sets up two. So here, front post, double crochet. One. So here, these are my first two for the back, my first two for the front. Now my next two stitches, I'm going to go back to the back post. So here, yarn over, coming from behind the work or the back. So here's the post. I'm going to grab that. So you could see what it looks like there. I'm grabbing it through the back. Grab my yarn. There's three loops. I'm going to pull through the first two, then the next two. I'm going to do that one more time because I have sets of two. So here, if it's easier for you, I don't have to turn my work anymore because I've been crocheting a while. But if you need to, you could grab your yarn and if you need to look back, you could turn your work there. Grab the next post. Just like that. You're going to pull through the first two, then the next two. So these are my two posts to the front, my two to the back. 
I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So these two, the next two, are going to go through the front. One double crochet, and then the next double crochet through the front. Okay, my yarn's stuck on something here. I'm trying to pull it out. And then my next two are in the back. That's all we're going to do. Alternate them. So my next two are going to be in the back. And like I said, if you wanted to have them thicker, you could do four double crochets to the front, four to the back, or three to the front, three to the back, whichever way you want to do it. I'm just going to do two and two. But some people like to have really thick wet, really thick little posts, so that's up to you. So this is how it's going to look. Can you see that? This is my front. These are my back. So you could already start seeing that it's going to make that little ridge and I want you to repeat it all the way around and it's a, it's going to be by the time you finish you'll have a lot of practice doing these but then this is another way to get kind of get this look without actually having to knit it and then the next two from the back so I'm going to go ahead and finish that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done and since when we do these um, um, cable things it tends to kind of like shrink a little bit so we ended up see how this is not as tall as a regular double crochet so usually my beanies are usually 12 to 13 rows if I'm doing rounds if I'm doing double crochet since so this is not really giving us the full height see how it shrinks back it's not because we're grabbing it from the bottom not up here so we're losing some height here so instead of doing 12 or 13 rows we're going to do about between 22 to 25. You can want to try it on your head. So here I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I'll come back and we'll show you how it looks at the end of our first rows of front and back post. Okay, I'm coming to the last stitch here that goes to the front. Just like that double crochet. And it still looks really wavy. Don't worry about this. It will, please trust me, it will start look, taking the shape. Probably when you're around row 9 or 10, maybe between 10 and 12, you'll start seeing it going down and cupping. So don't worry about it. You will start getting that shape once you have, see how here it starts shaping once you get a little bit lower. So here, now, you're going to, to finish your rows, you're gonna, your rounds, you're going to chain, uh, slip stitch into the third chain, one, two, three okay and then you repeat that same row two well it's actually row three isn't it one two three yeah row three for about um, I'm going to do mine for about 24 rounds going around 24 times so here I'm just gonna chain three one two three and like I said it'll start taking shape in around round 10 or 12 so this is my first one so now remember you're gonna repeat so here you could see that these are in front and these are in the back. So here I'm going to start going to the back. Double crochet there. And whenever you see, like you see it this in the front and the back, then you do those front. These two are coming from the front. I could see that. These two are coming from the back. See how the little, they're coming through the back. So you're going to uh, copy that or repeat that same, that same, um, pattern so that it could start forming the ridge. If I go to the back here then I'm not going to get that little ridge. So here this next two are in the front. My next one is in the front double pro front post double crochet and see how it starts giving us that little ridge that kind of mimics uh, the cable like a little that little ribbing stitch there. I guess it's a ribbing stitch and then these two the next ones you can see that they're in the back so then I'm going to grab this yarn over and grab these through the back just like that one double crochet there and then my next one double crochet and it takes just a little bit while I'm trying to do this around the tripod so it's not always easy to see but by the time you finish all your rounds you're going to be a pro at it see how you can start seeing that it's shaping that so here are the front here are the back so then my next two are the front so just repeat this row just like that 
until you have at least 24 rounds. I'm going to do 24. If you need to make it bigger, you could make more. So that is pretty much it. You're just going to repeat this same, the same thing you did here until your hat is the desired length. And you could try it on. Um, this size I'm making, I'm using, it's going to be like a woman, just a regular woman size, a small size. But like I said, it'll work for uh, uh, kids. Um, you will just need to get a smaller hook, probably size H works pretty good, or I for an adult. If you're going to do this for a man and they have a bigger head, I would probably go ahead and move up to a size J. I have only tried this uh, modifying uh, this pattern here with the size um, H and I because I did it for a woman. So here, um, again, you would just need to experiment with your hook sizes. Since I'm using the medium yarn, this H worked out pretty good when I did the hat. It did fit me, but then my head's not that big, so hopefully that doesn't mean I don't have any brains in there. So just go ahead and repeat that. So see now, you can see your little ridges there. And the back, it's the same thing. So I don't know if you could see it. It's kind of hard to see it with this yarn because it's so shiny. But here you could see that these are in the front and then these are in the back. So I'm going to repeat this until I have 24 rounds. And if you want to do it longer, that's up to you. But I like to have mine to go just around, just like over my eyebrows, not too much lower than that. So that is the pattern. That's it. Nothing fancy. You're just going to be doing front two front posts, two back, two front, two posts, two back. The only one when you start, the only thing to remember when you start is that your first three chains count as one double crochet and then you immediately go into your next post from behind. So it's a back post. Your back posts are your first and then your, the next two are front, then back, front, back. And like I said, I'm doing a set of two of them. If you want these to be thicker, like you want your, you like your, um, little ridges to be thicker you can do three front three back or you could do four front four back you would just need to adjust here in the back in the beginning so if you're going to do sets of three then of course you would do your chain three then three back instead of one back you're going to do another one so just adjust that but i'm just doing them two and two so i'll be back when i have my 24 rows and you're going to be surprised at what it looks like okay as you can see i finished all the 24 rows and see how much it looks smaller than a regular beanie. This one, for the rib stitching, I did have more rows because it calls for you to be able to fold this part up here. So when you wear it on your head, you fold it up. If you want to be able to do that with this one, just go ahead and add like maybe a few more rows. This one, if you roll it up, it's not, you know, it just goes like over your um, eyebrows. So this is what it's done with two rows, two and two. So it just looks regular, but when you put it on your head, I don't know if you, hopefully you could see the ribs there. It's going to have formed some really nice ribs all the way around. It's kind of like a little rib. Well, it is a rib hat, but it's in crochet. And then this one, of course, is knit. And the stitches, of course, are a lot smaller. I love the way knit looks, but it takes a lot longer to knit the hat. This one, I did the decreases towards the cr to the top. And then this one, I started from, from the from the bottom up so just looks like that so this is what your finish hat will look like if you do the sets of two in the front two in the back post so two front post two back post and like I said if you want them thicker you could do them three and three and four and four this is the hat um, I could put it on a styrofoam head I don't know if that's really going to help you much because this is one of my smaller hat heads so you could just see how it would go and then you could just kind of pull this up a little bit. Let me see if my camera is kind of showing you there. Not uh, in a very good angle, but that's the top of it. Anyway, so that's the hat. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button. Help me grow my channel by sharing my videos with your friends and your family. And I think this comes out really pretty and it's really, really thick. Certainly a lot thicker than the knitted one because this is almost, almost like two layers thick, you know, because of the way that the uh, stitches worked. Anyway, there you have it. Have a great day and remember always that God loves you.